And so we've come full circle. I led the original five companions on a quest to reclaim the Amulet of Kings. At the time, I told myself it was for the good of all Tamriel. I was wrong, and now all the world suffers for my hubris. Perhaps, but I wonder, will history repeat itself or rewrite itself? In truth, I fear using the amulet again. Its power is both great and terrible. Destiny can crush us by fulfilling our wishes just as surely as it can by denying them. It was a holy city in the first era, founded by Queen Alessia herself. It has since fallen into crumbling ruin. Before its capture, Saitahan hid the Amulet of Kings in the catacombs beneath the city. It is in the mountains of Calovia, the land of my youth. But I have little memory of that time. My exposure to the Elder Scrolls stole much of the man I once was. Speak to Saitahan. He can answer your questions far more accurately than I. Time has come for us to enter the catacombs of Sancretor. Do not underestimate the dangers that await us. In ages past, Sancretor was a place of light, but I fear that is no longer the case. We must be prepared for anything. I have been through much, but this body is tougher than the great oaks of Valenwood. I go with neither hope nor fear. It is useless to guess at a future that has yet to be written. You may hope if you wish, my friend. I will not judge. My Lord Varen will open a gateway to Sangrator. The amulet lies in a vault protected by powerful magic, a ward of Stendar, the god of justice and mercy. Also a god of well-earned luck. I thought this could not hurt. The catacombs contain two shrines dedicated to the divines. We must consecrate them in Stendar's name. When that is done, the Ring of Stendar's mercy should open the vault doors. It is written that Alessia received the divine inspiration for her slave rebellion at Sangrator, and so built her holy city there. But that was long ago. The city is a ruin now. It has become a dark place with areas best left undisturbed. We should avoid the Crypt of Heroes. I saw enough angry dead there to fill nine lifetimes. Kasura and I barely escaped with our lives. We will enter through the inner courtyard and avoid it entirely. No, come. Time waits for no man. The portal is open. Go now. Return with the Amulet of Kings. You could have hidden that amulet anywhere in Tamriel, and this was your first choice? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Brilliant. Why is it that the people with the most ridiculous ideas are always the ones who are most certain of them? Shut up, Shut Thorn. Shut up, Thorn. you to Sacred Tor, old friends. 
Looking for an amulet, perhaps? Mana Marco? How did you find this place? Do you really think I'd allow you to escape the halls of torment if I couldn't track your every movement? Sai, no! Mana Marco, stop! You're killing him! Where is the amulet of kings? My master, Molag Vol, demands it! Your master, please. You would use the amulet to betray Molag Bal. Fool! When I ascended, you could have been at my right hand, Tharn. Instead, you chose to align yourself with mongrels and imbeciles. Now, you'll die with them. You won't get away with this. Do you really think you can betray a Daedric prince? With the amulet of kings, all things are possible. Nations will tremble and bow before me. I will be a god! And the Amulet of Kings will never be yours. It is protected by a ward of the Divines! You mean your ward of Stendhal, god of merciful forbearance, patron of gutless law-abiding dimwits? It won't even slow me down. And the Margo has been watching our every move. We led him right to the amulet. Menomarco may be powerful enough to break through Stendar's ward eventually. If we can get to the shrines quickly and receive Stendar's blessing, we can pass through the ward, but leave it in place. He may not be able to follow for some time. We must make our way to the inner courtyard. From there we can access the chambers where the shrines are located. Are you well enough to continue? <sighs> Have no fear, Snow Lily. I am Red God. We are like mountain bamboo. <sighs> Far stronger and more flexible than we might appear. I find it hilarious that Manamarco chose such a massive projected appearance. He's obviously overcompensating for something. Is the crypt of heroes. We can enter if you wish, but it is a foul place where the dead are restless and angry. Persistent, aren't you? Do you really think you can keep me from acquiring the amulet? amulet of Kings is under the protection of Stendar's ward. It will never be yours. Ah, uh, Sai. You still don't understand, do you? My plan will succeed because of your ward of Stendar. It will prevent Molag Bal from observing or interfering. By the time the ward is down and the amulet is mine, it will already be too late. You're insane if you think you can betray the god of schemes. Naive child. You know nothing. Chimel Adabal, the red diamond at the center of the Amulet of Kings, is the most powerful soul gem ever created. With the Amulet in my possession, I will absorb Morlock Baal's power, reducing him to an empty husk of ethereal flesh. Then I will trap his essence within the gem. Be forgotten. In time, all of Tamriel will bow down before me. Soon, the god of schemes will have a new name. Manny Marco.
is a god.
But my friends, I... I must rest before we continue. Sai, are you all right? That bastard really hurt you, didn't he? I swear to the gods, I'll take his head off. <sighs> I'll be fine, Snow Lily. I... I just need a moment to catch my breath. Take all the time you need. I'll keep watch. If there's anything I can do, just name it. An enchanting moment. I'll be over here bringing up my lunch. Seth's tears. I thought I could handle this. And Marco's sorcery brought back all of the pain and doubt I felt inside the halls of torment. I have pushed my body much further than this. It is my mind that pains me. And Marco filled my head with shattered memories. They are like broken glass. With every beat of my heart, they stab into me. That voice, and Marco's voice. Taunted me over and over in an endless cycle for years on end. He never broke my will, but he broke something. I will make it through this, my friend. I did not endure years of torture in the halls of torment only to give up now. <sighs> my pain has subsided. Let us make haste and finish this. We must consecrate the two shrines with Stendar's blessing before the vault can be opened. The first shrine rests in the Dragon Guard tomb, where so many of my fallen comrades were interred. We must take care to respect their resting place. is on the far side of the room. Quickly, we must find our way across. I have a surprise for you, Sai. Do you remember your fallen comrades from the Dragon Guard? I've taken the liberty of raising them, and they're quite anxious to see you. I have no wish to disfigure the corpses of my old comrades of the Dragon Guard. You must consecrate the shrine. of this world through your grace and with your guidance. Encourage us as we smite the wicked and punish the unjust. Now, 
We have only to consecrate the second shrine before we can enter the vault. You certainly did a thorough job hiding the amulet, Sai. Couldn't you have just stuffed it in a mattress or something? The second shrine is in the chamber beyond. There is a trick to reaching it. A puzzle of sorts. I do not recall its solution. The altar is on the far side, but to reach it, the drawbridge must be lowered. Kill them! These consecrations. We beseech you to lower your wards and grant us safe passage to the Vault of Kings. Corridors, crumbling walls, nauseating smells. This place has all the charm of a Riften brothel. 
It must feel very much like home to you, You Titan mean a Bull. crypt filled with the rotting corpses of inbred kings and failed statesmen? Must be what it's like at a Tharn family reunion. It is much more pleasant in the summer months. Succeed. The amulet of kings will be mine. I swear by Stendhal's grace and the sword of my father, you will not win, Menamarco. Soon, you will know the extent of my power and bow before me. Through the power of the amulet of kings, I will be transformed. All the nations of Tamriel will bow before me. They will worship me and beg for my mercy. All will know the name of Manimarco as their one true god. You'll never get away with it, Manimarco. We'll fight you to our last breath. By all means, my old friends. Try and stop me.
to the Vault of Kings. The shrines have been consecrated in Stendar's name. Now you must use the Ring of Stendar's mercy to open the vault doors. Stand in the casting circle and direct the ring of the doors to lift the ward. The door should open wide. Look, the amulet. I can see it from here. Has ever known. This is merely a transition. My first step towards true immortality. Now witness my true power. Watch as I rise up from the grave and ascend to godhood. Worm! You think you can betray the Lord of Brutality and Domination without consequence? You will pay for your arrogance. You will ride in agony for the rest of eternity. Your tortured screams will echo throughout oblivion to serve as a warning to others. Many Marco did was designed to pit us against each other. We can't let that happen. Look what we can accomplish when we work together. How uncharacteristically optimistic of you, Titan Boy. I may have that embroidered on a pillow. The Divines gave you a nose for a reason, Tharn. So you can keep your mouth shut and still keep breathing. Well played, Titan Boy. Well played.
It is done. The Hamlet of Kings is ours once again. Manamaka will pay dearly for the rest of eternity. One cannot out-scheme the god of schemes without paying a heavy price. I cannot imagine the torment that awaits him. Sai Sahan must rest, as must we all. We can sleep a little easier knowing the King of Worms has been defeated, but we cannot rest too long. Molog Bal is still a great threat, and the plane melt must be stopped, or this will all be for naught. I have not forgotten, Vestige. It is another piece of the puzzle, and we shall address it in due time. But for now, let us rest and recover. As always, I will contact you soon. Walk in the light, Vestige. Rest easy. I've not forgotten, Vestal.